All right. Well, thank you guys for all being patient and waiting a little bit for us to just get started with the um, online class. All right, so let's go ahead and just kind of, we're gonna start kneeling today. So as long as it feels comfortable, if you have bad knees, you, don't, you certainly don't need to start kneeling. It's not that important, but just kind of, um, just kind of a different option. And we'll just start with a little seated breath work, seated meditation. So maybe just roll your shoulders up and back a few times. Just kind of check in with yourself, maybe kind of roll your head and neck out if that feels good. And from here, we're just going to kind of come to sitting up nice and tall, either closing your eyes or just kind of softening your gaze, kind of looking out at the water. Start to lengthen your breath, so coming into more of a yoga breath, Taking long, deep inhales in through your nose. Long, deep exhales out through your nose. With each breath, just kind of feel your body relaxing a little bit more. Your mind just kind of becoming more present. And just kind of tuning in with your surroundings, tuning in with the environment. Take a moment to really just kind of notice, feel, and observe what it feels like to be outside today. So this time of day while the sun's setting, a slightly cooler air. The kind of um, medium breeze, the sounds of the outdoors, the water, the wind, or the planes passing, the marina. And we'll just kind of embrace all of this as part of our class, part of our full experience today. And take a moment to just Remind yourself of something you're grateful for before we start. From here, you can slowly open up your eyes, and we're just going to add some arm movement to our breath. So reach your arms out nice and long. We have lots of space here. And some seated cat-cow pose. So inhale, bring your chest forward, squeeze your shoulder blades in the back, maybe look up to the sky. And then exhale to round. So rounding the lower back, rounding the upper back, rounding the shoulders, chin to chest. Let's move through these two movements a few times going with your breath. Inhale to open everything. Exhale to round. So just warming up your spine. Doing this maybe two more times. On our next Exhale, we're going to wrap our arms around us, giving ourselves a big hug, and we're going to come into eagle arms, so crossing above the elbows, and then bringing the hands together. Good. So lifting the forearms up, kind of in line with the shoulders, either just staying here for a few breaths, or you can come to a little bit of a back bend, lifting the forearms up, looking up, maybe back a little. And then... Coming forward again, remember what arm is on the top, what arm is on the bottom, because we're going to switch next time. So inhale, open up. And then exhale, give yourself a big hug, switching sides. Same thing, so you're squeezing your shoulders together in the front, bringing the elbows in line with the shoulders. Either just staying right here, or you can reach up a little bit, a little bit knees back bend. Good, and then inhale to open up again. This time we're going to interlace our hands behind our back. Draw your shoulders down and back. Staying here for a few breaths. So countering a lot of that forward hunching we do over our phones, computers, driving. 
right? Option to stay here for a few more breaths, or you can come forward. So bringing the top of the head down, lift your hips up, lift your arms up, open up the shoulders a little bit more. Good, and then we'll come back down. All right, from here we're gonna make our way to a yogi squat. So you'll take your hands in front of you. We'll take one foot out to the side at a diagonal about the width of the mat. Then the other, you wanna try to stay low. So bringing the hips down, hands to heart center, lengthen through your spine. Option, you can come onto the toes if you need to. If it feels like you can stay there a little bit longer, that's fine, just stay on the toes. Draw the shoulders back, lengthen. Good, a few deep breaths, feeling that nice stretch in your inner legs, a little bit in your hips. Good, from here we're gonna bring our hands forward, lift our hips up, feet will face forward, just like a medium wide leg forward fold. And make this a ragdoll forward fold to start with. So just having that little bend in your knees, Lift up through your hips, maybe sway side to side a few times. Spreading out the toes, grounding through your feet. Relax your head and neck down. Start to feel that stretch in the back of your legs and your hamstrings. And then we're going to make our way back to a yogi squat for our second one. So just take your feet out at a diagonal again. Bring the hips down. Hands to heart center. Chest stays lifted. Good. Coming back to your breath. We'll take about three more deep breaths here. And then you can bring your hands in front of you, lift the hips up. Here, tie the feet closer together. And we'll just come to a deeper forward fold this time, lifting up more through the hips to bring your stomach down towards your upper thighs. Body weight comes forward a little bit so you're not sitting back too much in the heels. On our next inhale, we'll come to a half lift. So draw the shoulder blades back, come up halfway, energy's reaching forward, straight legs. Exhale, fold forward deeper. We're gonna do that two more times. So inhale, half lift, shoulders back, head and neck reach forward. Exhale, fold forward. One more time, inhale, half lift. Good, exhale, fold. Next inhale, either reach your arms forward or out to the side, but just extend the arms to come all the way up. Lengthen through your spine, extended mountain pose. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. So we're gonna move through some sun salutations to just really warm up the body. So stepping towards the front of your mat, we'll inhale, reach the arms up, lengthen through your spine, move with your breath. So exhale, fold forward. Inhale to come to a half lift. And then exhale, we'll bend the knees, plant the hands, step back to a plank. So let's hold this plank for a few breaths. So draw the shoulder blades apart, lift up through your core. Nice and strong here. And then we'll lower down through a chaturanga. So all the way to your stomach, elbows hug your ribs. Cobra pose, drawing your shoulders back, lift up your head, neck, and chest. Little back bend, shoulders away from your ears. Exhale to come back down, and we're going to make our way into a downward facing dog. So spreading out the fingers, send your hips up and back. Maybe stretch it out a little bit. So maybe heel toe your feet, bend the knees a little bit. Relax your head and neck. And then from here, Bigger bend in the knees, look up to your hands and then walk step, or you could even do a light hop, bringing the feet to the hands, coming into a half lift on the inhale. Exhale, full deeper. And then next inhale, reach your arms, find some length, extended mountain pose, maybe reach back a little bit. And then we'll bring the hands to the heart center. We'll do the same thing again, so inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale to bend your knees, plant your hands coming to a plank. Just pausing here, one breath. We're gonna lower down all the way to our stomachs again, coming into a locust pose. So this time, hands come behind you. You can interlace the hands behind your back, lift the tops of your feet, lift your chest. Good. We'll stay here, about three deep breaths. And then exhale to make your way down, coming back into downward facing dog. So down dog, maybe stepping the feet in a little bit if you have tight hamstrings. You can have that little bend in the knees. You want to send your chest towards your upper thighs, bending the hips up and back. Coming back to your breath. So just kind of always being aware of your breath and using your breath to just help you really stay present. And then bend your knees, look up to your hands, walk, stop, or hop, feet to hands. Half lift, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Take your time. Next inhale, make your way all the way up. Maybe reach back if that feels good. And then we'll bring the hands back to heart center. We're going to go through one more. So inhale, reach up. Same thing. Fold forward. Half lift. Bend the knees. Plant your hands coming to a plank. Lowering down. So maybe coming to an up dog this time, but your choice. So up dog, straightening the arms a little bit deeper back, bend the tops of the feet on the mat, draw the shoulders back. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Three to five breaths and down dog, just resetting. And then from here, bend the knees a little bit more. Look up to your hands and bring your feet up to your hands. Half lift. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, come all the way up. Lengthen through the spine, extended mountain pose. Maybe a little bit of a back bend. And then you can bring the hands back down. All right, good. So from here, we're going to move through a few more yoga flows. So let's start out in chair pose. So sitting back, feet close together, bend your knees. You can start out hands to heart center, lengthen through your chest, and then when you're ready, reach the arms up, draw the shoulders back. Good. A few breaths here. And we're going to come to a chair pose twist, so bring your hands back to your heart center. You're going to hinge forward a little bit, but still keeping your chest above your hips, and then left elbow to the outside of the right knee. <laughs> Prayer fingers trying to face towards you if possible. And make sure one knee's not trying to get in front of the other knee. Looking up and over that right shoulder. Good. And then we're going to exhale to fold forward. We'll move through a vinyasa. So you can step or hop back to a plank. Lower down to an up dog or cobra, your choice. Draw the shoulder blades back, and then coming back into downward facing dog. We're going to come into three-legged down dog. So just adding on, right leg reaches up. So heel up towards the sky, still pressing your chest towards your upper thigh. We're going to do a little core work. So on an exhale, come forward on the left toe, right knee to nose, rounding the back. We'll do that four more times. So inhale, reach that leg up nice and long. Exhale, come forward on the left toe, right knee to nose. Three more. Inhale, reach. Take your time. Exhale, come forward. All right, on your last one, you're going to bring, I lost count, sorry. <laughs> I know it's only five. On your last one, bring that foot all the way through. <laughs> all right, so we're just going to pause here, just kind of set up, make sure the knee's over top of the ankle. So bring that foot, if it's back here, make sure it's all the way up to your hand. And straighten that back knee. Make sure your feet are a little bit staggered, just kind of for balance. And then we'll take the left hand down out wide, right hand to right knee. We're coming to a twist, so looking over that right shoulder, and then reach the right arm up. Good. Opening up the shoulders. 
Maybe looking up to the fingers. And then we'll bring the hand back down. So we're going to make our way up to a high lunge. This is where it gets a little bit tricky with balance. So maybe take the right hand with, to the right knee, then the left. Find your balance and then reach the arms up. So it is harder to balance out here with the wind, the horizon. Your back heel should be lifted up. All right. So in here we're going to do, we're going to attempt to, to do um, some knee lifts. So we're going to bend the back knee down. Straighten it out. We're going to try and do that five times, right? Balance challenge, strength challenge, three more, two more. All right, last one. Good. Let's bring the hand, actually, let's bring the hands back down and we're going to walk out to the left side of the mat. So feet out, or just to the long side of the mat, doesn't matter which side. Um, and we're going to bend over to one side. The opposite leg straight. So feet a little bit of a diagonal. You can bring the hands down. Maybe lift the heel up to get lower. So I'm just going to turn to face you guys. So it doesn't matter which side because we're going to move to the other side next. Chest lifted. Maybe trying to bring the hands to the heart center. Deep breath. All right. And then we'll just come through to the center and move to the other side. So the other knee bends. Other leg straightens. See? You can go low. You can bring those hands down. You can lift the heel up. Maybe lift the arms up, just taking whatever variation feels good. A few breaths. <laughs> All right, very good. So let's come back just to face the front. And we're going to just step back into a downward facing dog. Set up to do the other side. So reach that left leg up. Three-legged down dog on the other side. Straighten the leg, reach it up nice and high. Inhale, exhale, you're going to bring the knee to the nose. Come forward on the right toe. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, round the back. Bring that knee up high towards your nose. About three more times. You can move at your own pace. After your last one, you're going to bring that foot all the way through up to the hands. Take your time to set up. So if the foot doesn't make it there, just grab the ankle, bring it up. Good. Let's just pause here. So straightening that back knee. Feet a little bit staggered. Take the right hand out wide, just in line with the front. Left hand to left knee. Look over that shoulder, twist, and then reach the arm up. Good. Coming back to your breath. And then you can bring that hand down. We're going to make our way up to that high lunge. So finding your balance. Lengthen your spine. Reach the arms up. Good. <laughs> All right. Bringing that knee down to hover and then straightening it about five times. Just taking your time. Good. After your last one, we're going to open up out to the side and do that same thing again. So feet out wide, a little bit of a diagonal. Go ahead and start. Let's start on our left side this time. Bend the left knee, straighten the right leg. Maybe take the hands down if you want. If you want, you can lift the heel up. And then we'll come through to the center. You can walk your heels through to the center, over to the other side. Good. All right, so we're going to come back through to the center. Walk your hands to, so they're on either side of your front foot. And we're just going to step forward, coming to a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward again. Next, inhale, reach up. All right, good. All right. From here, we have one more um, flow that we're going to do. So we're going to come back to that chair pose so we can do the twist on the other side. So sitting back, reach the arms up. A few deep breaths. You can bring your hands to your heart center. Hinge forward a little, a little bit, but still keeping the chest high. 
right elbow to the outside of the left knee this time. Prayer fingers facing you if possible, looking up and over that left shoulder. So think of lifting your stomach up and over the thighs. Twist. Good, and then exhale, we're gonna fold forward. Step back to a plank. We'll go through a vinyasa, lower down to an up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna come to a three-legged down dog, but we're gonna open up the hips. So we're not gonna do that core work this time. This time just bend your knee when it's up there, flex your foot, and then Bring that hip open. Stretch it out. Deep breath. Good. And then bring that foot through between your hands. So coming to that runner stretch again. Just pause here. And we're going to open up to the twist. So just doing the same thing we did before. We'll just kind of add on here. can bring your hand back down. We're going to make our way up to a high lunge. Reach up. Deep breath. All right, from here, opening up to warrior two. So spin the back heel down. Arms out nice and long. I'm just going to turn to face you guys. So front knees bent. Good. Relaxing the shoulders, looking towards your right fingers. From here, we're just going to add a little movement. So take your back hand, left hand, you're going to bring it forward to meet the right. And we're going to do that five times. Inhale, open up. Exhale, bring it forward, keeping the legs and the core still. Good. All right, last one. All right, from here, we'll just cartwheel the hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. Coming back to three-legged down dog. So left leg reaches up this time. Bending up the knee, opening up your hip. Reach it. Still pressing the chest towards the upper thigh. Flex that foot in the back. Lift it up nice and high. Good. And then coming forward on that right toe. Left knee high and then left foot through between your hands. Good. Take your time to set up. When you're ready, we're going to come to that twist. And then you can bring your hand back down. Make it, we're going to make our way up to the high lunge. So finding your balance. This is our balance pose. Draw the shoulders back. Reach up. Good. All right. We're going to spin that back heel down to open up to warrior two. Relaxing the shoulders. Always an option to straighten that front knee a little bit and then kind of sink a little bit deeper into it. Trying to line up the knee with the ankle. And then five times, we're going to inhale, exhale, bring the hand, back hand to meet the front hand. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, bring it forward about three more times. Good. All right, and then after your last one, we'll cartwheel the hands down, lift the back heel up, just stepping into a downward facing dog. And you can bend your knees, look up to your hands, walk or step your feet up to your hands, half lift, inhale, exhale, fold forward, and then inhale, make your way up, good, hand to heart center, so just kind of pause here, shake it out, if you have water with you, um, just grab a drink of water, we're going to do just like one balancing pose, pose. we'll do a little bit of um, core work, and then we're going to do our yin yoga, so deeper stretching. All right. So balance is obviously a challenge, but we're just going to go with it. <laughs> we're just going to try. So we're going to just come into our warrior three. So um, you can start with your right foot on the ground. Take your left foot behind you, hands at heart center, and then you're just going to start to hinge forward, a little bend in that standing knee, so just keep it soft. 
flex that back foot and just lift it maybe an inch off of the ground to start with. And then moving nice and slow, hinge forward a little bit more, lift that back leg a little bit farther. So you're flexing that back foot to try to square the hips, trying to bring it straight back if possible. And then with the arms, you can either reach the arms behind you, kind of like an airplane, or a little bit more challenging, reaching the arms in front of you. Hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Just kind of shake it out. Very good. All right, so we'll just set up for the other side. Maybe it'll be a little bit more challenging on this side. So left leg, just uh, hands to heart center. Take your time. So keeping your gaze at maybe something on the mat in front of you. Soften the back leg, standing leg, and then start to lift that foot off of the mat, keeping the foot flexed. Check in. You don't have to go all the way. You can just keep it lifted a few inches off. And then when you're ready, either keeping your hands at your heart center, you can reach the hands behind you like airplane arms or reach them forward, holding it here for five. Good job. Four, three, two, one. Release. Shake it out. All right. <laughs> From here, we're going to make our way to seated. So we're just going to come to sit back in a chair pose and then just come to a seat. All right. And we'll come on to our back. All right, so we're going to set up for a little bit of core work, a little bit of glute work on our back. So first, kind of setting up for a figure four stretch. So taking the right ankle above the left knee, bring your heel in close towards you. And we're going to do bridges, so figure four bridges. So place your hands down, and then you're going to lift those hips up, lower them down to hover. We're doing about ten of these. So maybe exhale to, exhaling one way, one direction, inhaling the other direction. Knees out wide, so also stretching out your hips as you're doing this. Out four more. Last one. All right, so you're going to stay in that figure four. Take your hands behind your head, elbows out wide, and we're going to do figure four crunches. So you're going to inhale, exhale, lift your chest, shoulders off the mat, lift your foot up, and then inhale, come back down. Exhale, crunch, keeping your shoulders up nice and high. So we're just going through these, taking our time, kind of pausing at the top. We're doing about ten to really feel it in our core. About halfway through. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. All right. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So go ahead and bring left ankle above the knee. We'll just start with the bridges whenever you're ready. Lift the hips up. Lower them down. Heels in towards you. Inhaling one direction, exhaling the other direction. Energetically pressing the left knee out to the side to kind of really open up the hip a little bit more. Four more. Three. Two. One. Go ahead and take your hands behind your head, elbows out wide. Inhale, exhale, crunch, lift the shoulders up, lift the legs up, inhale, come back down. We're doing about 10 of these. Pausing at the top, see if you can get those abs to shake. Means you're working the inner abs. This time, maybe exhaling through the mouth, inhaling through the nose. Five more. Four. Three, two, last one. All right, very good. You can just hug both knees in towards your chest. All right, from here we're going to do 
leg lifts. We're going to do five rounds of them. So bring your feet straight up towards the sky, feet together. Option to have a little bend in the knees, but we're going to lower down to the count of three and then come back up to this count of three. So we're going to lower down for one, two, three, about halfway or a little bit lower and up for one, two, three. Good. Lower down for one, two, three, and up for one, two, three. Lower down and up. See if you can go a little bit lower for the last two. All right, last one, lower it down, and then this time lift your shoulders up, energy through the arms, feet just kind of hovering, and hold it for five, four, three, two, one. You can release, just hug your knees into your chest. All right, from here we're gonna come to a half happy baby pose. So you can take that left foot, place it on the mat, reach for the outside of your right foot, and you're going to bring that right knee out to the side. Option to keep that left knee bent, or you can straighten the left leg. So pressing that knee down towards the mat. So this will be kind of our first yin yoga pose, where we'll be holding it a little bit longer, getting a little bit deeper into the stretch. coming back to your breath. Kind of notice where you're feeling that stretch. One or two more deep breaths. Good, and then you can place the right foot down, and we'll come to a half happy baby on the other side. So starting with the right knee bent, reach for the outside of the left leg, left foot. Bring that knee out wide, pressing, also pressing that knee down. Feeling that stretch in the hip, the glutes. Option, I forgot to say, if you want to, you can straighten that other leg, the right leg. And then from here, you can bring that right foot up. We're going to come to a full happy baby pose, holding it for about another minute. So if you want, rocking side to side, if that feels good. Maybe playing with pressing your lower back down into the mat or lifting that lower back up a little bit more. From here, we'll just kind of stretch it out a little bit more. So take one knee and kind of bend it in and work towards straightening the other leg out. And then you can switch sides, bending the other knee and straightening the opposite leg out. Maybe just coming back to regular happy baby or you can Straighten both legs out. All right, and then you can take both knees back into your chest and just do a few little circles. So three or four circles in each direction, massaging your lower back onto the mat.
Good, and then from here, we're going to roll forward and back along our spine a few times. So it should feel good for your back. Coming up and back down. Maybe two more times, and then we'll come to a seat. All right, very good. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a seated forward fold. So just go ahead and take your feet in front of you. Draw the shoulders up and back. We'll just start by sitting up tall, letting the feet relax. So because we're holding it longer, we don't need to flex the feet. We don't need to worry about that. And then start to make your way forward, walking those hands in front of you. And try to find your, come into your edge in this pose for right now. So find that place where you're feeling a good stretch, but you're not kind of forcing it. You're not yanking your body down. You're not pulling too hard. You're kind of letting gravity do the work. Take a moment and just um, notice where you're feeling the stretch. So this stretch is targeting our hamstring muscles. Try to let those muscles relax. We want to relax the muscles because when we hold it longer, we want to reach the tissues beyond the muscles. So if the muscles are more relaxed, we're able to reach the deeper tissues in the joints, the ligaments, even the bones. Just notice if you can go a little bit deeper. Maybe you have a new edge now that we've held it for about a minute already. Come back to your breath and just try to find a sense of stillness in the pose. So this is kind of, um, this class is like the yin-yang idea. So the first part of class being the yang part with lots of movements. And the second part of class being slow, more meditative, a deeper stretch. So just embracing the stillness the quietness of this part of the practice. Taking about three more deep breaths. And then just moving nice and slow. Start to walk your hands back. Just kind of pause. Straighten your back at the top. You might feel kind of stiff right away, so go ahead and just shake out your legs. We'll windshield wipe our knees side to side, so taking our feet out wide, dropping both knees to one side, and then both knees to the other a few times, just kind of releasing any tension in your back. And then we'll come to a counter stretch. We'll come to a reverse tabletop, so bring your heels in towards you, feet together, hands behind your back, and lift your hips up high. Allow your head to drop back. 
your throat to open up, staying here about five, three to five breaths. And then you can slowly make your way back down. All right. So from here, we're going to do um, a hip stretch. We're going to do square pose. And I'll give you an option, too, if, this, if you don't like the stretch. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to say it doesn't matter which leg you start with. We'll do one leg and then switch to the other side. So start out. Bring one leg. You're going to bring it. It's kind of like you're sitting cross-legged, except that foot is going to come forward so it's in line with the front of the mat. And then you want to take that other foot, bring it on top, and slowly walk it forward so that the ankle is kind of in line with the knee. So option to stay here or to lift that foot up. So you'll probably, you might want to lift it up if you want a deeper stretch. Um, so the top knee's in line with the foot. The foot's in line with the other knee. And you should feel it in the outside of that hip. So if you don't feel it, maybe that foot's in too much, you want to walk it out. If it feels really uncomfortable, it's really tight, so two options to bring it here. The other option is to do a seated figure four like this. All right, so if you're doing the seated figure four, it's doing the same thing. To go deeper, you would walk your hands in. But stretching out the same thing, so kind of just noticing the stretch in the hip, on the outside of the glutes. From here, let's just add a twist. So take the opposite hand, whatever knee's on top, take that opposite hand to that knee, and go ahead and look over your shoulder. Just a few breaths. Good. And then from here, we'll come forward. So option to start to walk the hands forward. So walking the hands forward, you'll go deeper into the stretch. If you're already feeling the stretch, you might not need to walk forward. So sometimes we have tight hips. It just um, can be genetic or it can be from just different things that we do, from sitting a lot during the day. Just working wherever you're at, trying to get a deeper stretch. Coming back to your breath, trying to find a way to relax those muscles. About three more deep breaths here. And then taking your time, just slowly walking the hands back. So just trying to make all your movements nice and slow. 
kind of pause at the top, straighten your back, and then you can untwist your legs. Again, just shake them out, and we'll windshield wipe from side to side. So kind of the same thing we did before. All right, and then we'll come to the reverse tabletop again. So this pose kind of helps um, counter the forward folding. Good, and then you can make your way down and we'll switch sides. So starting with the other leg, so instead of sitting cross-legged with that foot in, bring it out so it's in line with the front of the mat, and then start to walk that other foot, slide it forward. The one hip might feel a lot different than the other hip, so that's normal if it feels different. And then checking in, foot's over top of the knee, knees over top of the ankle. Pausing here for a few breaths. Feeling that stretch in the outside of the hip and the glutes. And then from here, we'll add the twist. So whatever knee's on top, take the opposite hand to that knee. Looking over your shoulder, sitting up nice and tall. And then you can come back through to the center. And we're just going to make our way forward, going a little bit deeper. And we'll take about two more deep breaths. And then start to walk your hands back. Straighten your spine. And then you can untwist your legs to shake them out. And we'll windshield wipe our knees side to side. And come into that reverse tabletop, heels in towards you, lift up, let your head drop back. All right, good. Then you can make your way back down. All right, so we're going to finish on our back. So if you want to grab a drink of water, grab a drink of water.
if you brought your own blocks, you can use your own blocks. But um, try not to use like uh, try. We're using the blocks right now as a weight, <laughs> but try not to use you know the extra yoga props or whatever. Just if we don't need to. All right, so we'll come on to our back. So we are going to come into a supported bridge pose. So I'll show you. If you have a block, you can use a block. You'll just place it underneath your sacrum. If you don't have a block, we're going to use our hands. So you can bring your heels in towards you, knees about hips distance apart, lift your hips up, and then you can kind of place your hands or place your thumbs underneath your lower back. Bring your elbows in so they're kind of parallel, and you're kind of supporting yourself a little. You're still lifting yourself up. You're still doing some work, but um, supporting yourself. We're going to hold it about a minute. Option, if you don't like placing your hands there, you just want to stay lifted up, you can interlace the hands behind your back and just keep your hips lifted up that way. About two or three more breaths. And you can slowly make your way down. From here, we'll hug the right knee in towards our chest. Take the left leg out long. And we're going to come into a twist. So bring that right knee up and over to the left side. Right arm can either be out long or just bent at the elbow up overhead either looking up at the sky, or you can look in the opposite direction of your the knee that's bent. Spinal twist is really good for our back and our spine. Kind of helps realign everything after all the different stretching and movement that we did. Plus, it's nice and relaxing. From here, we'll just make our way back through to the center. You can just bring your hips back in the center. We'll take the left knee in towards our chest, straighten your right leg out, and then bring that knee up and over to the right side. Maybe relaxing that hand on the knee. Left arm is either out long or bent at the elbow. And then you can bring that leg back through to the center. Just reach your arms up overhead, straighten both legs, stretching it out nice and long. And then you can make your way into your final relaxation pose. So just into Shavasana. Allow your feet to just kind of open up naturally out to the side. 
Maybe palms open up out to the side. Try to kind of get any of that last minute fidgeting out of the way and come to a place of stillness. Allowing your body to sink a little bit deeper into the mat. Consciously releasing any tension that you might have in your body. And then from here, take a nice deep inhale in through your nose. Complete exhale out through your mouth. One more time, inhale. Complete exhale. Start to roll out your ankles, roll out your wrists a few times in each direction. And then you can bend your knees, reach your arms up overhead, and roll onto one side, pausing on your side for a breath or two. And then when you're ready, pushing yourself all the way up to a seat. All right, and we're going to finish by bringing our hands to our heart center. We'll take one more inhale, reaching our arms out and up. Exhale to press the palms together and bring your hands back down. And just take a moment to feel a sense of gratitude, sense of peacefulness, and just allow the positive energy that you feel from your practice to be a benefit to yourself and the people around you throughout the evening and throughout the day tomorrow. Namaste. All right. Great job, Lee. It's starting to get dark out now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Stacey. Thank you.